right, y'all. So hopefully y'all enjoyed that little bit of video there. Um, riding on the loader from the other day, doing the uh, when I, I was processing some with Mickey. Y'all should see some more of that this week because if all goes well, I'll be back in the set with him again. But I wanted to, I keep getting, I don't say I keep getting, sometimes, whoop, too far, there we go. I get questions on what I'm using, uh, stuff like that, and I kind of teased y'all with something new the other day, and it was something of two. Something of two new happens to be two new GoPros, the black, seven black. That's what I'm using. It's what I've already had. This is the one I've been using here. Um, I have it in this little case with the the audio adapter. It plugs into the, the USB-C there on the side. If you don't have a mic and you're trying to make videos, you're you're messing up right from the get-go. Audio is your audio is king, guys. Um, so anyway, this is the GoPro I've been using. I'll probably stick it to one of the more I guess you'd say danger GoPros um, since it's been used up and beat on a little bit and I'll upgrade one of these a little bit newer ones here to uh, my vlogging camera for whenever I'm needing to vlog something uh, these cameras are great if, if you're looking for to, to record anything uh, I went ahead and pulled the trigger and got two because they marked them back down to two thirty-nine a piece, and then I sold two of my old GoPros for fifty dollars each. So I, I just technically applied that fifty dollars to to these GoPros here as well. So uh, anyway, we're gonna go over what I carry in my bag, and I carry this every day. Every bit of this goes to the woods with me. I never know when I'm gonna need it, <laughs> and. Uh, I don't use it all every day. Some days I do use everything in here. Um, but one thing you won't see, and I'm using it right now, this is a, I, I think I've explained numerous times, I'm a huge fan of the Boya microphones. Um, they have just about as good a quality as the Rode, and they're usually about half price. And I can sacrifice just a tad bit of quality for, you know, a few dollars. But it comes in this little nice little case here, and it's got this little windscreen that can go on it if you're out and outside. And then it's got this other little zipper case in here. But this little thing is neat. Um, if I know I don't have, I'm not sure if I'm going to come across anything I want to video, I'll usually stick this in my pocket. And if I need something to, to video and I need a microphone for it, all I got to do is just stick that microphone in the because it, it plugs into the the lightning port on your phone no other cables are necessary um but anyway all right these are great because you can just I, I now have three you know one two three but you can you can put them in their little thing put them on like a tripod like i got right there and uh just stick them anywhere or magnetic bases I, that's something i don't have right here those are in the truck um but I, I, I love the magnetic bases. That's what I use to connect my GoPros to most of the, the shots you see from my GoPros. I've got them mounted to the machine using uh, the magnetic base thing. If you want the magnetic deal, go to Amazon, search magnetic base, and it's the, it's the really it's the plain silver with the, one of these little mounts like this on it but anyway so first or out or let's see second this is the, the GoPros that I have and they stay this is this is their cases right there uh, I do have a GoPro Casey coming to keep all my GoPro stuff in so if I need to just grab GoPros and go with that I'm good and then keep a little small tripod like get this one here this one right here this is a great little travel tripod that I keep around. I have, let's see, I have this tripod. It's a little one. I have this tripod that holds my light for, this is where I do all my, y'all know what that is right there. Uh, that's the kids' TV I've been using to, to iRace off of, but, and my Dr. Pepper can, of course. 
or in my Reese's because I'm fat. Um, but anyway, the that's my laptop that I edit with and everything. It's nothing special, just an MSI gaming computer. But anyway, uh, I have, like I said, this tripod, that tripod. I have, let's see, two more tripods in the truck. Each are the will fold out to be the bigger size like this. One is actually uh, about 12 inches taller than what these fold out to. I just use the cheap tripods because you never know when a limb's gonna fly up and hit them and break them or whatever. And when we had the truck fire, I had about a $180 fluid head uh, tripod. It was a super nice tripod. I really liked it and it burned up. So, and I just haven't replaced it. But anyway, in here, this is DJI. Anybody knows anything about DJI, you know this is probably gonna be my drone. So this is my drone. This is the, the Mavic Air. It has 4K capabilities, and uh, that's usually what I shoot in most of the time. Um, here lately, I've been shooting a lot in like 2.7K, which is like a step under. It's like in between 4K and, and 1080p. Uh, basically, it gives me the, the ability to fly and shoot in 60 frames a second, and I can convert those to 24 frames a second for whenever I need just normal motion videos or I can convert them to slow motion with the 60 uh, 60 frames a second. If I know I'm going to be shooting something slow-mo, I can set it to 120 frames a second. This is the uh, controller that goes with it. It uh, nothing too special. Little antennas up here flip out and little thumb screws screw in here. And uh, these here these fold out and then my phone sticks in it and uh that's pretty well that filters that i use for the the camera or for the drone this is just stuff to make the picture look better in sunny conditions there's three different ones there's actually one on the gopro there's a completely clear one that comes on the i mean not the gopro the drone there's one clear one that comes on it and then you get when you I bought this kit it come with three different shades basically it's like sunglasses for your drone uh, boy a mic I forget what model number this is but I have two of these in here um, I use one on the GoPro here when I'm vlogging with it uh, usually in the morning times when I get to the woods and I get everything set up before I walk away from the truck I get this set up with a microphone on it and a magnetic mount and then I get uh, the big camera here set up with a microphone. But this is also, this is my newer microphone that I got. This is the one that I usually keep on the, the big camera there. This, y'all might hear the baby crying in there. She's a little fussy tonight. But this is my, oh, turn it over, wireless microphone system. A little, another windscreen. Um, these are the transmitters that I have. This is actually a very affordable kit. Um, I think that it was like 80 bucks or something for this kit. Um, this has been one of the best things I've invested in. If you've ever watched me video something and the audio sounded really like it, the microphone was up close and personal, but the camera was back, kind of like the other day whenever I was changing the teeth on the cutter, that was using this. But it's got some extra wires and stuff like that in there. Nothing too special. Uh, I want to stick that on one of these. Stick it outside and put the uh, transmitter and everything on me inside the machine. And talk to y'all live while I work. I think that would be pretty neat. Uh, this here is my memory cards. I have a bunch. These two are for the uh, memory card for the the big camera here then all these micro SDs are for the GoPros and the drone this one here has a is a micro SD inside the big card I uh, just keep it in there in case whenever I'm uploading I can use, if I need to use it to upload faster it will do that we have an array of batteries <laughs> Um, this one's just kind of hanging out. I have several more in the truck. This is a 
a little mount that I use to mount a microphone to and then I screw it to my gimbal which I'm fixing to show you all the gimbal here this right here is probably one of the best investments I've made so far with the YouTube stuff um, if you're gonna start videoing even if it's with just your phone I highly recommend a gimbal one the shots that you can get with one are amazing too it just it made the videos clean up so much nicer um, but and this one is perfect for traveling or being out in the woods or whatever because it's I mean, you see it fits perfect in your hand and then if you screw this little tripod piece to the end down here then you can hold this and keep your hands off because this folds out into a tripod like so and then you can just set the gimbal up anywhere and she'll stand on her own uh, if you're videoing with your phone this one you can make it track you wherever you're walking to um, let's see here we'll actually unfold this out and, and you see how it was locked in place I unreleased one screw and then everything just kind of comes undone on itself well there we go it just kind of all comes open like that real quick real easy uh, it is a pain to kind of figure out how to balance it if you don't know how, what you're doing but I like how it you can lock all these axes. You push that little pin down. There's a little pin. I'm not sure if y'all can see it. Yeah, y'all can see that. A little pin inside there, right in the middle. You push that pin down, and it locks all these axes together, and everything's locked. And then you got this little locker switch right here on the back, and you flip it up, lock it, and it goes good. The this this gimbal is made by Zion, I believe is how they pronounce their company. It's called the Crane M2. This gimbal is the uh, the Crane M2 by Zion. Zune, however you want to say it. It's a uh, said the Crane. There it is, Crane M2. It's little. Uh, it wasn't but a couple hundred bucks. It's this little screw hole right here is what I was talking about. I'll mount the. I'll, I'll screw this. Let's see here. I'll screw it like this. Kind of something like that and then that that adds the uh see i'll just add, add that little uh arm onto there like so and that gives me a place to mount my mic it also has a phone holder this also will hold your uh gopros if you have the older gopros without um the stabilization in them the gopro sevens don't need stabilization i mean uh the gimbal it it does it fantastically without it and this is just like some kind of little hand strap wrist strap thing but this thing right here has been a lifesaver um, so the last big thing in the camera bag well I guess another little small thing this is the Boya microphone that I use lavalier mic it's um I forget the model number on I think it's somewhere on here but anyway uh it's long if you need a lot of reach with it but you know having a, a a wireless mic i just unravel about three foot of it or so and clip myself up and uh connect it to my wireless deal but this right here um hands down best investment i made for the youtube channel so far um i got this right off the bat this is a little like a light guard thing it keeps the sun from creating glares and stuff on the lens but this is the sony a6400 this is a very expensive camera i honestly did not know what i was buying when i bought it um i'm glad i bought it this little plate here on the bottom is actually part for the gimbal i just leave it on there but this thing is a workhorse and a half um, i'm very glad i bought it it should be a, a very capable camera as long as I don't kill it for the next couple years or so. Um, but the little screen back here, she flips out. 
and then it flips all the way up so as I'm standing here talking to y'all sometimes you see me look up that's what I'm doing is I'm looking at that screen but very very nice camera I'm glad I went ahead and got it I was looking at the Canon M50 at the time because it was cheaper uh, and a couple of YouTube videos I watched swayed me away from it like I said I'm very glad I ended up getting this one it's it's been amazing it does great all those really good slow motion videos you see not the ones from the air the ones that I've shot from the ground that comes off this that's like I said that's a that's a powerhouse um, this here is if I need to like split my audio every once in a while have two things audio these are lens cleaning cloths that I carry with me always wipe your screen off before you start videoing extra propellers for the drone um, this right here is a new case that I've just added recently I bought it it's one of those $22 things you can get from Amazon it's got all these goofy parts and everything in it it's like a I just I just call them a, a GoPro gra grab bag <laughs> pretty much but it's got these little mini tripod and a monopod and then this clip here I've never used it yet but it may come in handy this is the wrist strap I use it whenever I connect the GoPro to the drone so y'all can have audio with the drone some uh, bicycle roll bar mounts which I'll probably never use um, I've actually used them on the bumper on the sprint car once I forgot about that this is a tripod uh, base plate that I keep a GoPro mount on tripod go uh, phone holder suction mount another mini tripod flips out like so and sets down excuse me for hiccuping and then bags of these are the little sticky lock-on tabs um, these are the little other little mounts and yeah those those are the top mounts that go to these and then this is uh, thumb screws and all kind of stuff like that little little nuts and thumb screws for the GoPro and then these are my tethers for if I decide I'm going to uh, tether a, a camera to a machine this isn't everything but it's most everything and uh oh one other thing out here it's my little cleaning kit i keep this with me in the truck or in the in the bag uh actually i think i got some more stuff in there I'm forgetting about but anyway th this right here is just a, a little small cleaning kit it's got a little rocket blower if you need to clean your inside of your camera out while you're in the field and then it's also got some lens cleaner in there and some alcohol wipes stuff like that nothing too fancy just something nice to keep with you keep your stuff clean and then up here in the camera bag there's side pouches here that I used to carry batteries actually one of those sides still have batteries in there's a spot for my laptop back there if I need to take it with me like if I'm going on a trip or something uh, in here I forgot about having this this is the the GoPro chesty strap it mounts the GoPro to your chest uh, some more drone parts there's a bag that I've got modified in there to if it's raining lightly and I need to get out and video something for y'all I can and put it over the big camera but with the GoPros, you don't have to have that because the GoPros are waterproof. But anyway, thank y'all so much for hanging out and watching this. I'm sure this got pretty boring here at the end. Uh, hopefully y'all had a, a good Easter and everything. Today would have been Monday. Yeah, today would have been Monday. And uh, I'm excited to get to start using these GoPros just so I can have multiple angles on everything. So anyway, guys, y'all go subscribe for me, like the video, share me around. Thank y'all so much for watching. Until tomorrow, I'll catch y'all next time.